Hi everyone, it's Benza here. This is gonna be a very short video. I recently picked up the Humble Bundle Unity Tools package. As of now, this is still available until I think the 21st of September. It costs 30 euros, which is roughly 30 US dollars. Lots of larger YouTubers talked about the package before, such as Code Monkey or Games From Scratch. They all said the package is really worth it, and I totally agree. There are a few tools I want to try out sooner or later, but what I am most happy about is definitely the Broccoli Tree Creator tool. I always wanted a tool like this. I played with it a bit yesterday, and I must say I'm pleased. Yes, it seems a little bit rough around the edges, the textures that come with it are not the best quality, and trees made with it will never look like photoscanned assets, even if you use high quality textures. But the asset works in HDRP out of the box, just use the speed tree 8 shader option, it can generate any tree or smaller foliage, works inside the engine, creates a prefab with LODs, interacts with the wind zone, and once you bought it, it is always yours. I have long awaited to create my custom trees, and I definitely will. And yes, I had this option before, it is called speed tree. Probably the best procedural tree generator tool that is out there. I could have subscribed to it, made a few trees, exported them, and then cancelled my subscription. Well, if I ever need high quality custom trees in a project, I will probably do just like that. But to be honest, I'm a bit salty at Unity about speed tree. When Unity bought it last year, I really hoped they would make it free for Unity users or integrate it into the engine or something, but nothing like that happened. And yes, I can understand them, many Unity users do not need high quality 3D trees, so why bother? But here is the point. As Unity tries to move more and more into the films and special effects industry, they need something that can persuade people to at least try out the engine. And the speed tree integration would have been that. Or part of it. Meanwhile, Unreal Engine just does that. Not only they develop Lumen and Nanite, which removes two very painful and time-consuming parts of game development, light baking and setting up LODs, they also have Quixel and an ever-increasing library of scanned assets, they have MetaHumans, and it is all free for Unreal Engine users. A procedural tree generator would probably not have solved this imbalance, but it would have helped, at least a bit. Anyway, for the time being I will mostly be working in Unity, because C-sharp rules, and expect to see some custom made trees in the future, thanks to the Broccoli Tree Creator. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!